Welcome back to floss tube number nine. My name is Susan. If you're new here or haven't watched me before, um, I wanted to welcome my new subscribers. I know I've gotten a few. And I also want to say hello to my ones that have always watched me. <laughs> All right, today I'm going to be showing a few things. Um, things I've been working on. Um, I've been doing a lot of monogamous stuff because I've been uh, trying to get some designs done. So, yeah. Um, first one I'm going to show you, if you are a subscriber to my Instagram, you will see that uh, I've actually released two patterns. One pattern last night, but the other pattern I, I released probably about a week ago or something like that. But uh, the first one is Mr. and Mrs. Bones. There's this one. If you, Like I said, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll, you have seen this one. So, um, if you follow me on Instagram and Facebook, I will be doing a free pattern every month. I've already released my first free pattern. Um, I will probably be doing them the first of the month when I release them. So, but this board is from Stitch Etc. Um, it's one of their, uh, it's the smaller, um, pumpkin board. I got it in black and, uh, I put this on myself. Went and got some hardware from Walmart and so I could hang it on the wall. Um, this is done on 32 count limestone. Um, obviously the cult floor colors, they're all DMC colors. Um, I did, uh, what I actually did to finish this is obviously I stitched it and finished that. I put interfacing on the back to protect the stitching. Then I uh, framed the, I framed the piece with fabric. Um, hold on this fabric right here I framed it you can't see much of it because of, like I mean you can see a little bit here but I framed it and then I put it on a uh, one of my mat boards so I get them they're actually canvases I get from Walmart or not Walmart Dollar Tree and I cut them down and then I uh, I put like um, almost like uh, another kind of interfacing to kind of get them st stuck down. So, and then um, this right here, I uh, I've had I always I have a whole bunch of buttons. You probably can they're back here, you know, in that area there. So, but um, this ribbon I got from Walmart, and then this one I got from Dollar Tree. The bigger one so and I staple them on so obviously I glued the button but yeah and then this rick rack around um, I uh, I got that from Joann's they were doing a sale on like their like Halloween stuff so yeah got that put that on just sewed it around whip stitched it or whatever you want to call it but yeah, I really like it. I got to hang it on the wall. But I have this pattern on my in my Etsy shop. So <clears throat> I'm going to put this one over here. So they don't bump you guys. All right. Next, um, I purchased this uh, antique sampler off of it, eBay. Um, I just released this pattern. And it's got glass. I'm sorry for the glare. But yeah, you're gonna see the iPad and my little pumpkin dude, or snowman dude, sorry. But this is uh, Joe Van, Joe Van der Linden, uh, 1890. <clears throat> and this is the frame. What I ended up doing, um, I replay, cause I, I had to take it apart just to, you know, do, Get the thread colors that I need for the original because it's lighter on the front. So what I did is I took it out, I kind of cleaned it up a little bit, no water, just kind of just getting the dust to clean the glass, 
and all that kind of stuff. And I put some of this uh, wrapping, it's like postal wrapping on the back. I, I, but I changed that because it's the one that they had on it had some water damage on it. So I had to uh, replace it. So, and then they had a wire, um, this to hang it on here, but it was old. You could tell it had been on there for a little while. So I replaced that. Um, these are the original ones on here that they had on the back, but yeah, kind of cleaned it up and got the dust out of there and, you know, just kind of, and then put her back in the frame because I love the frame. The frame's are really pretty. It's got like these like flower. You just seeing all my stuff back there. <laughs> but yeah, I had glass in it, so which I don't mind that. Um, what I'm thinking about doing is um, I got some UV resistant clear uh, spray paint, so it helps against the rays. I think I'm gonna kind of spray it on the front here to kind of help it, you know not fade any more than it has um this color here um this red is here and here this is i used 816 but obviously i don't know what she used but um but it's here here and it's around this uh the first two borders here and then the rest of it is in this color now the color that you see here is actually lighter because it's um faded with the sun and stuff so, but yeah, it's really pretty. I'm actually working on it. I'm, I, I got it, um, reproduced, obviously the pattern out, but I am also, um, working on it. And this is how far I've gotten with it. But see how the colors are different, like, cause this would have been like the lighter, the lighter, like red. So yeah, it's. It's a lot darker than it says it is, <laughs> or way it looks on the back. So, but I am using uh, 816 and DMC 22. Those are the two colors that I'm using in this uh, sampler. So, I was real excited when I got it. This is actually my first um, antique sampler. So, it was exciting. <laughs> Another thing I've been working on is um, this. I haven't released this pattern yet. Um, actually, I've had this box right here. I haven't got it stained yet, but I plan to stain it. I got this from uh, Joann's. There's the um, barcode. Um, I do plan on releasing this pattern. I'm kind of just kind of playing around with the colors for now. So, but yeah, there's what I got so far on the the little tomatoes can have a little tomato on it so but yeah I haven't got that one released yet so but I'm enjoying working on it I'm actually using some uh, uh, over dyed uh, flosses so other than that um, I that's about all I've been doing the last time I after my whip parade I just been uh, just designing and <laughs> stitching and I'm a one-man show pretty much one woman show so um you can check out my Etsy shop it's at uh Susan's Stitching Haven um you can follow me I have a Facebook page um I also have Instagram and I have TikTok all of them are under Susan's Stitching Haven um, I have them actually in my, in the description, the links to them. So, but, um, other than that, everything's been going good. Um, nothing new. I mean, school's going, Ozzy's been in school. We got him going longer. Um, yeah. Uh, weather's getting cooler which is nice I mean it's like really nice like this morning it was like 49 degrees Fahrenheit here and it was it was cool but it's nice you know so it's like it's, it's in between like not turning on your heat but not having to have your AC because then it kind of warms up during the day but not too not too hot so but other than that I have not been up to much of anything I mean 
doing the same old same old <laughs> but I figured I'd jump on here and do a short video show you my uh what I've been doing um but yeah come check out my Etsy shop um I've got these patterns here if you're new these uh the flower pillows I actually grouped them together so you can either buy them as a set or you can um, buy them individually. So if you don't want all of them, or if you just want certain ones, you can do that, so. All right, well, I'm gonna get out of here. I'll talk to y'all later. I know this is short, but I just wanted to drop in and say hi and let you know that I'm still here. <laughs> all right, bye.